So we have another Lenovo. What can we do with this one? So this is a Lenovo Think Center. It's an M700, I believe it is. It's got an uh, i5-6400 in it, which is not a bad processor, but it has absolutely no video card. Um, and the Wi-Fi on it, yeah, it's got some issues. Uh, belongs to a friend of mine, Tom. He sort of inherited from the business when they were getting rid of it. And so he just kind of wanted to do a few little upgrades on it, nothing major just enough to kind of spruce it up, clean it up, and uh, you know, just kind of make it serviceable. He's not going to try to play games or anything, but you know we got to try one or two, right? Now, this computer does have a few things going for it. It's got an i5-6400 in it, like I said, which is not a bad processor. All the uh, all those in that time in that time frame, those four core, four thread, uh, none of them are bad. They didn't change for quite a while. So, uh, it also has a 500 gig hard drive, however it is a mechanical hard drive. I'll look and see if I've got something that can speed it up. And of course we're going to have to put some kind of graphic solution in there for him just so he has an HDMI port. And of course, well, the Wi-Fi being dead, we're going to have to do something about that. He's got one stick of RAM, but I believe it's 8 gig. He didn't say anything about wanting to change that, but that, uh, that power supply is only, it is an 80 plus bronze, but it's only 250 watt. So, we got a little bit of work to do. One of the first things we have to do is clean it up. Okay, actually I lied. One of the first things we have to do is just turn it on and see what kind of shape it's in to begin with. Um, then we'll do some cleaning up. Maybe more thermal paste and clean out the inside, get all the dust bunnies out of there. Yeah, it's going to be much, much better when we give it back to them. All right, so it's trying its best to come up, but this is what it sounds like. Yeah. So we've been able to show it works and it runs and all that, but you can see it's going to need a little bit of cleaning. So the next step for this puppy, yep, portable duster. So we've managed to get it pretty well dusted. Uh, not perfect, but I will clean that up a little bit more. And then, uh, yeah, inside the front and everything looks much better. It could use a little bit more of a wipe down. I think I'll do that too. But something else is going to happen also. We are going to change that hard drive out with this AX2. It's a one terabyte. And we're going to go ahead and put a 1030 in there. Um, he doesn't really need it, but he just needs the HDMI port. And this is probably, uh, I can sacrifice this video card. It's DDR4, two gig. He doesn't need anything pow powerful, but we're also going to see how this thing games a little bit. Just a little, not much. The thermal paste wasn't in too bad a shape, but lo and behold, uh, I hope this can focus on it pretty well. That's an i5-6500. So that's even better. Yeah. We're going to finish cleaning this up a little bit. Go ahead and put some new paste on it. And then put everything back together. Get it going. Uh, I did manage to clean up quite a bit. Looks really, really good. We're going to... Uh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll go ahead and put the new parts in, put the paste back on it, put the cooler back down on there, and uh, put the SSD in and get her revved up and make sure she's good. And yes, I did remember to clean up the heat sink and the fan. It's going to be a long night. Not for me. I I'm going to bed. But um, yeah, this computer is going to have a long night. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the power button here, boom, and then we're going to see how long it takes to come up. So far so good. Beep, beep. Yes, that's thunder in the background. Shazam. Very, very quick. He'll be very, very happy with that. So we have success. It's quite a bit cleaner in there. Um, it's pretty quiet. We've installed the SSD. It is, well, you can kind of see right here. Um, that is now the primary drive. The I'm, I'm leaving the, it's a 640 gig uh, WD Blue that we're going to go ahead and leave in there. That's the backup drive. You can do whatever he wants with it, obviously. The wireless card, 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there. Just get a new antenna. It's on its way already. Obviously, we got HDMI. That's a 1030. Uh, GT1030, it is 2 gig of DDR4, but he doesn't need anything too powerful, so uh, that should be fine. He just needed an HDMI. So we've got that all worked out for him. Everything's cleaned up. Everything looks good. Uh, I'm going to test one or two games, and then we're going to go ahead and give this bad boy back to him. So this bad boy is all cleaned up, all taken care of. Yep, even that, right down to that. Um, working really well now. Went ahead and replaced the Wi-Fi antenna. Going to take all the cables and everything off. But uh, she's up, working, running, and it should do everything Tom needs it to do. This thing has been really, really good shape. The only thing I'm going to do for my own personal curiosity is I'm going to go ahead and run Cinebench R23 on here. But, uh, yeah, this thing's looking good. It's all in great shape. And we're going to go ahead and give it back to him. Now, some of you are going to say, yeah, but you were supposed to play a couple of games. You are supposed to show us those results. Uh you didn't do that. Well, I did. I Well, no, I did play the games. I haven't showed the results yet. I tried Cyberpunk 2077, and I went ahead and I tried Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I, I knew this wasn't going to be good on 1080p, so I went ahead and I just stepped it down to 900p or 720p. And I went ahead, and if it had any kind of fidelity FX or anything like that on it, I went ahead and tried to use that. And Cyberpunk, I got all the way down where anywhere from 9.5 frames per second or so up to around 21 frames per second, depending on what resolution and what I was trying to use. It's just, it's not quite playable, even at 720 on favor performance on FSR 2.1 you know, or whatever it is now. On Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's not much better. I, I tried it on 900p to begin with. Uh, that wasn't any better. I went ahead into 720p, and we're talking anywhere between 15 and maybe 20-ish something frames per second. So, but, but I knew that was going to be a limitation of this uh, video card that I put in because it's, it's, not a, it's not a gaming video card. It's just an HDMI output. Uh, basically, that's all it is. And it, for that, it's doing great. It does a great job. The uh, CPU itself is a four-core, four-thread, uh, 6500, so i5 6500, and that gets about 31 and change uh, when I run Cinebench R23, which is not bad. It's not horrible. It's not bad. Uh, it's typical for that, that range or that age of a CPU, and it does just fine. So this computer with the SSD starts up a lot quicker for him now. It's a solid performance out of that, that four-core Intel i5. And, uh, yeah, he shouldn't have any kind of issues out of it. I've already given it back to him. Uh, I have not touched base with him. I'm supposed to do that uh, in the next couple of days just to see how, you know, if you got a chance to go ahead and plug it in, turn it on, and see what's going on with it. But I also have not heard back anything like, hey, the computer doesn't work yet. So, um, yeah, so, so far, so good. Uh, I will go ahead and get the feedback, and, and maybe I'll put that in the comments as well. But it was a success. So the it's not a Lenovo Slow anymore. It's, a, it's an actual Lenovo, and... Um, it turned out pretty well. I can't, I can't complain. Uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly and he can get a couple more years at the very minimum out of this. One thing I found very, very strange about this computer, I had never seen a 640 gig Western Digital Blue before. Uh, for that matter, I'd never seen a 640 gig. It's always been, I've seen a 750 gig, but I had never seen a 640. That was sort of an odd measurement to me. I, I'd seen a, I had seen a 320 in a laptop. I suppose that just the next step up would have been a 640. It just seemed odd to me that um, with things now being, say, 128 or 250 or 500 or one terabyte or something thereabouts, like 480 or or uh, two, you know 256 or whatever, that it that 640 just seemed really really odd. It was the reason why I had to get a one terabyte drive instead of just a regular 500 gig. But hey, it wasn't. It wasn't too expensive. Uh, Team Group makes a, a, a lot of good quality SSDs. And to clone it, the one good thing about that 640 was the fact that it was Western Digital. So uh, I don't know if you guys have tried to clone a hard drive lately, but there's almost no software out there that is free open source software. They want you to sign up and and you know either pay full price or some subscription or some deal to get your data or whatever the deal is but almost nothing out there that just lets you clone one drive to another luckily this is a western digital so there's a version of that that's available free and i was able to do it so if you found any of this information um 
helpful, interesting, uh, anything like that at all, go ahead and throw a like on it. Th subscribe if you're not already. Stick around. There's going to be other stuff. I'm still still debating whether to, to hook things up to a server. I've been doing some cleanup, so uh, there's some systems I've actually torn down because I'm going to use parts somewhere else. Still got to get back to Cool Blue because I'm doing some other stuff on that. Like power, uh, I swapped out the power supply from that Be Quiet power supply. I've actually put a Cooler Master. 850 watt power supply in that uh, so it still gets to be cool blue uh, because we still have cool in the name somewhere and that works out pretty well uh, there's uh, more stuff on that not as much just kind of an update of course we've got that 12 700 kf that's in there that i7 so we have to do some tests here or there and so you guys will see a little bit of that but as far as just general stuff uh, for the next week or two we're going to be kind of fumbling around and taking a look at a couple of miscellaneous things like uh yeah recovering data from a couple of drives I've got. We'll, we'll see if that's worthy enough to make a video out of. We don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, if you did uh, like the video, go ahead and throw a like on it for me, please. Don't forget to visit me on the other socials. Uh, I've started streaming again, trying to stream again at least once a week, and putting highlights of that on my gaming channel. Uh, I have not decided whether I'm going to live stream on the gaming channel. The problem with that was when I went to go do that, YouTube told me I had to wait 24 hours to be able to stream on that channel, even though I'd already pre-qualified for everything, and I, I don't know what's going on. This seems like more of a hassle that it's actually worth trying to stream on YouTube, but who knows? Certainly not me. I, I just live here. Uh, the only other thing that I can ask is just be good to each other. Be kind. Say good morning. Hold the door open. Wave, smile, something, any kind gesture. It doesn't cost you anything to be nice to somebody or each other. And you never know. That one thing that you do might be something that just really makes somebody's day. You never know. Maybe somebody returns the favor and does something for you. Anyway, that is all I have for right now. Uh, I've got other stuff going on. Like I said, there's it's a miscellane, it's a melting pot of things. I've been trying to do some outside stuff too. And uh, we'll just have to see what is worthy of making a video out of and get it on here so you guys can see it. Hopefully it's interesting enough that uh, you guys would want to watch it. So I, I don't want to do something that nobody wants to see. So anyway, that is what I have. So until next time, folks, I'll see you later.